Hello again and welcome to iBasiac, the channel to be for all your floor care news, views and reviews. Well, another mysterious black package has found its way onto my doorstep. What's inside? Well, it's a set of cleaning tools designed to fit Hoover Turbo Power upright vacuum cleaners. I got this from, where else? eBay. It's supposed to be brand new and unused. Well, let's hope it is. I'm going to open this, we'll show you what's inside the box and then in a later video I'm going to actually connect these up to a vintage Hoover Turbo Power and we'll test them out. Here it is then, with very minimal packaging apart from the original box, just a, a black bin liner to cover its shame, well to cover my shame. I'm glad things arrive like this to be quite honest because the amount of vacuum cleaners and vacuum cleaner related products that I get delivered. Well, I think the courier people and the postman would probably think it's rather weird that I'm receiving so many vacuum cleaners. But anyway, fortunately this was disguised. I've cut off my address. I don't want folk knowing where I live. I don't want you turning up on my doorstep. Obviously. I'm not talking about fans here. I'm talking about people that want want to hurt me. I'm sure there's plenty, but I'm not doing any harm. I'm just unboxing and reviewing vacuum cleaners and other floor care appliances, so what's the harm in that? Right. I don't think I need my scissors. It's upside down. Let's turn it the right way. Let's pop my scissors down there. This is model U1912. This is um, a bit of a boring box. The earlier boxes were full coloured and they had a picture of the turbo power here and you know everything showing you the tools in use. This could have been a mail order product. Now often this is an optional extra on many of the turbo powers, the non-tools attached turbo powers, but it was also bundled with some models. Now you see a lot of these on eBay, used and unused, a lot of the unused ones, people just bought an upright vacuum cleaner because they wanted mainly to clean their carpets and perhaps they didn't want the cleaning toolkit and they decided to just pop it in the loft and not use it. Maybe it did come with the machine. Now also I've noticed that this is slightly different. I do have another of these toolkits stored away. Unfortunately arrived with a damaged hose. This one though seems different. But it could, I, I can't remember how it looks inside. I can't remember if it's got this. Now this toolkit illustrated here has an all-purpose brush instead of a dusting brush and an all-purpose nozzle. I, I can't remember, but I'm sure it had both. So perhaps this is an old box. I don't know, perhaps the tools that are inside are what's illustrated. But, well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Now, I need to turn it this way. And you can see it before I do. Are they okay? Can you see there? I'm going to turn the box around now and see what's inside, what individual tools I've got. So let's reveal what's included in this set. And... <laughs> ah, yes, good. I, was, I had a feeling that there were some bits missing. I was ready to give this seller neutral or negative, well, negative feedback, but no, I don't have to. They do seem un, unused, definitely. I will give them a sniff, this nozzle here. This is the crevice tool. Yes, completely brand new and unused. Hoover's standard design crevice tool, about 30 centimeters in length. This is a very old design. It was featured on many Hoover cleaners. Um, but it all started off in a white colour. They did it also in a honey beige. You could get this, I think this is classed as black tulip shadow. So honey beige, white, black tulip shadow. Was there another colour? I can't remember. But anyway, we have the black tulip shadow one because Hoover changed all their cleaning tools in the early 80s from a honey beige colour to black tulip shadow. And that was due to market research they did. According to a letter I received from Hoover, I emailed them. Well, I didn't email. So no email didn't exist then. I wrote to them and asked them why they changed the colour of the tools on the 
first generation Sensatronics from honey beige to black. And they said it was due to market research. People preferred black tools, so that's what they got. So there's your first tool, black crevice tool. The second tool to come out is the single extension tube. Pretty sturdy, pretty tough these. And it's got Hoover's lock ring fitting. So all the tools just push in and then you turn the locking ring to secure. So that keeps the tools firmly in place until you turn the locking ring and release the tool. Underneath the pan converter, now this is exactly what I wanted. This is the toolkit I needed and wanted. This is Hoover's all-purpose nozzle for doing your stairs, your upholstery, nooks and crannies, curtains. Again, a pretty old design, although it was changed. Instead of having the rather effective rubber teeth that the earlier versions had along here, which was very good for removing pet hair, Hoover did away with that. They cheapened the design slightly and just gave it, well, that design at the back, which I can't see does it really anything to help remove hairs, but it's still a classic, to me that's a classic Hoover designed nozzle. The dusting brush should be next now. Slightly distorted. Most of the times I open a dusting brush from an old vacuum, the brushes are distorted or bent in some way, but that one doesn't seem too bad. They're a bit straggly, but I'm not too concerned. This again was I think an 80s design dusting brush. The old traditional Hoover dusting brush was round. Um, much, much more part, well it had two main parts to it, or three actually. You could actually move, it did swivel, this one's fixed. But the traditional old fashioned Hoover dusting brush, once it was on the extension tube you could actually turn it to different angles. But saying that, this is still a, a, a decent dusting brush, relatively soft bristles. It's a design that continues more or less today, but the brushes that are provided with modern Chinese-made Hoover cleaners are much, much harsher, stiffer than that. Not suitable, in my opinion, for dusting. Only two more things to look at. This is the pan converter. This was the way you'd attach the hose to your Hoover Turbo Power. Not a very convenient way of fitting the tools, but it's the way Hoover decided to fit them. You can see there's a, a little seal, a white seal all, all the way around to help keep the suction in, which was pretty poor to my recollection. So you'd fit the pan converter underneath the machine on the base and you put it like that, push it up until it clicked into position and then you'd use that little release lever there to remove the pan converter. The hose actually plugs into the end there and once it's on you'd normally leave the hose attached. And Hoover also put a little wheel would have been better. I had seen some cleaners, I think it was an American, yes it's definitely American Concept One that I used to hand. I ha have the cleaning tools for that and it did have a little wheel here. I think it, more, it was more centralised though, where you connected the hose on the Concept One, and it had a little wheel to aid movement. But this one just has a sort of little pad to stop the machine scraping along the floor. But of course, if you used it heavily, that would wear down eventually. But uh, obviously these tools haven't been used at all. And to be honest, I don't think many people would have used the cleaning tools on an upright vacuum cleaner very often. They just weren't convenient. I mean, you obviously most upright vacuums we have now have the tools attached and it's easier to use. You don't have to find the tools and attach them. But this is what you had in the day before Hoover introduced the total system cleaners that of course had the hose and tools attached. And the last thing is the double stretch hose. The sellers for some reason has popped. I think the seller's done this, I don't know. Popped a a bag tie on it. Let's put the box to one side. The hose is quite a heavy, quite a heavy hose, the double stretch hose, because obviously it contains a metal spring. And although Hoover says it's a double stretch hose, 
yes it is more or less double obviously hoses we get on um, tools attached uprights now are more than a double stretch they can be a triple or even a quadruple stretch but if you look at the gap between my fingers there and I stretch it to the full extent it's about double so it won't reach up up the stairs I will be testing its stair cleaning ability how far it will reach up the stairs but this is not going to reach up a standard flight of stairs I know that just by looking at it here is the sort of a rubberized end that attaches to the pan converter and there are two two little cutouts either side two little square holes and there are two little pips or lugs on the pan converter so you just push it on twist push and twist until the pip pips fittings stick out through either side so that's the hose attached all in all I'm pleased with this it's how it that's how it was described so I will give the seller positive feedback let's just pop that there show you the the hand grip now a little bit of um, well it's not really cheapening but I'm sure just where that hole is just above that white that white hole there would have been a Hoover roundel just an embossed black roundel not obviously the red and white roundel that would have been there and instead we have Hoover written just there and now if you look at those you see either side of the handle there are two holes there and two holes there now obviously cost cutting this was the same handle fitted to the Aquamaster cleaners because those holes are designed to take the trigger shampoo solution release valve that's fitted on an Aquamaster so obviously they use the same parts obviously cheaper to make one handle to fit several different machines and make different handles so you know back in the 80s Hoover were cost cutting I mean all manufacturers cost cut they want to make a profit don't they and things get cheapened and obviously sometimes manufacturers go a bit too far in cheapening things but by having a couple of holes either side doesn't make any difference well they're not holes they're just indentations it's not going to affect the suction going through there is a suction relief valve but fitted to a turbo power really you would keep that closed I can't see even when using it on delicate curtains I can't see wanting that open if you just have a look closely in there you can just see there's some plastic left over from manufacturing this needs to be I've taken a bit of it off this needs to be removed I'll have to do that with uh, some tweezers or something so there's your handle again it's got the twist lock fitting so you can fit the tools directly to the handle just like that so there we have it that's the Hoover optional Hoover cleaning tools the turbo power upright cleaners so that's uh, one unboxing that went well I'm quite happy with these now if you stay tuned to my channel I will be showing you these tools in use I don't have the turbo power here at the moment but when I visit the other home where all these machines are stored I will get that turbo power out and do a demonstration of the cleaning tools for you I'll also be doing demos of the turbo power a new demo of the turbo power if you check back on my channel I have actually demonstrated a few turbo power cleaners a turbo power 2 um, but this one fits the original turbo power I do have a practically new turbo power upright it was probably the last model that Hoover made and it was the most basic model can't recall the model number at the moment but if you check my channel if you check the search box and put turbo power in it will come up it's a navy blue vacuum cleaner anyway these tools are going to fit that so coming up on my channel like I said I'm going to be doing some new updated reviews on some of the older videos I've done so they'll be in high def and I may, may be able to go into a bit more detail and show you a bit more about the cleaners so if you'd like this video and like to see more please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video. So until the next time, it's goodbye.